All right, rainy, cold, windy, California winter's day. We're pleased to have it. No complaints here. So, what I wanted to cover today was how the environmental movement has been going and what kind of progress have they been making over the years since the first Rio de Janeiro environmental conference took place. Let's go over to the board and see how well we're doing. Well, back in 1992, the conference took place to try and help some of the planet stave off some of the problems that we were having back then. So what's happened since then? Well, CO2 has gone up 54 parts per million from 358 parts per million to 412 parts per million, though that could be a little higher. That's a 15% increase in just 27 years. CO2 from fossil fuels is up from 6.06 .06 billion tons in 1992 to 9.87 billion tons in 2017. That is a 63% increase in just 25 years. According to NOAA, Earth's temperature rose 1 degree Fahrenheit or 0.57 degrees C to date. A lot of people uh, keep telling me that I'm off on my uh, temperatures. Well, I'm using actual science, the actual peer-reviewed science, which shows that the temperatures have risen 1 degree Fahrenheit or 0.57 degrees C. Weather disasters since 1993 are at 7 Point three per year just in the US. <laughs> in the US wildfires have more than doubled from 3.3 million acres in 1992 to 7.6 million acres burned in 2018. Now let's go up to the Arctic. Arctic sea ice has shrunk from 4.7 million square miles in 1992 to 3.7 million square miles in 2019. The Greenland ice sheet has shrunk by 5.2 trillion tons since 1993. So I just wanted to put out that report card that shows that we aren't doing doodly squat. We have had conference after conference, meeting after meeting, global meetings, and we're not getting anywhere with these meetings and this endless talk, 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 when the way we fix things couldn't be any easier. It's not that we don't know how, is it? It's that we don't want to because of politics. If a politician was to clean up the air or something, of course, he would never, he would never be re-elected, would he? How about if he made the water cleaner? Oh no, that's a definite no win there. How about if we left our forests intact and started planting forests to absorb all the excess CO2? Well, of course he wouldn't be re-elected for that. You have to be re-elected for destroying things. Um, going to war with other countries, destroying other nations, other ways that people live, other countries. That's what the U.S. is about, is destruction, not construction. It, it's just mind-blowing what the U.S. has turned into. From a very far-left country back in the 60s and 70s to a far-right-wing country in 2019. And if you think that it's over with now. You're crazy. We still have four more years of the orange man who's going to make it in no matter what he does, what crimes he commits. He will be the president for the next six, five, five years. And there's not much we can do about it because the U.S. doesn't want to do anything about it. About 50 percent doesn't want it that way and about 50% wants it that way. What a split. There's only one way to get out of this one. <laughs>
So I thought I'd give you that report and on this cold, windy, nasty day. We hope you're having a good time. And I appreciate all the ups, the downs, and the new comments, and this the once in a while new subscriber. I sure appreciate them. And until next time.